Hi, so yesterday I sent out this post on YouTube and Instagram and all that. It's not gonna focus. And yeah, I said it was for a video, but honestly I have no idea what this video is about to be. I kinda just wanted to chill out for a little bit, for the week at least, and uh, not worry too hard about the video, so yeah, this is just gonna be a chill little video. <laughs> I sent this post out on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. Go follow me there as well. <laughs> but yeah, just on YouTube, I got 1.1 thousand suggestions. <laughs> so, so yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing for this video. Um, I just wanna do some drawings, keep it chill. Obviously can't do all of them because there's way too many, but I'll just pick a few out that are kind of calling to me, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna start out by looking through all the comments and seeing what I like the best. I can't give you any expectations for this video because I don't even, so first I'm gonna hop over to Instagram. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through these. Oh man, I'm already seeing some that are gonna be pretty good. So first off, Adam with a gibbon and a goose having a kung fu battle. I think that's a winner. Also Dogter, that's a classic. Then Charlie with Mewtwo going to college. I'm gonna go with that one as well. Okay, then I don't know how to pronounce this name tag, but Dodo suggests a Dodo in the style of bird from Egypt, need a tat. Okay, I want you to know that I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Don't get a tattoo of this if it's not good. <laughs> All right, let's head over to YouTube. Learned says, draw a really cool self-portrait that is 100% accurate to reality. Sounds good. Okay, Eggy3636 says, draw my boy Pablo from the backyardigans. Okay, Baby Yoda 101 is asking if I could draw a flying goat because it means something special. Um, sure. Uh, Red Isn't Home asks if I can draw a biblically accurate angel. I already have. This is what it looks like. <laughs> KP asks, draw when the monkey song will actually release because we're still waiting on it. It's dropping August 12th with a music video. So get ready next week. And then a bunch of people are asking if I can draw an O. A lot of them have like exceptions or whatever, but I'll draw an O. Shell Tie. I don't know if that's how you say it is asking to draw dino nuggets. So yeah, okay, then random Rachel is telling me to draw me and my favorite monkey. I'm just gonna focus on that, that's great. Okay, this one's unique. Uh, Ishal A, uh, they're asking if I can draw a computer mouse doing a backflip off of a diving board. Okay, then Seb W is asking if I can draw another butterfly so the one I just drew isn't lonely. Sounds good. Holy cow. Okay, there's so many suggestions. I think I'm just gonna run with that right now. We'll see where it goes. I might have to get more later, but I don't know. Alrighty, well, let's head to Photoshop and draw these out. Okay, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm probably gonna go out of order a lot, but yeah, let's just try it. So first I'm gonna start with Dogter, because that's an absolute classic. I first drew this a few years ago. I don't really know where it came from, honestly, but uh, yeah, it was always very similar every time I drew it. I'm just gonna send it and do what feels right. Always had the eye right here. Okay, here's where here's where I already messed up. Um, this is where the thing is. Here's where his like headband is, you know? Let me just erase that little guy. Great. Okay, now we get the lab coat thing going on. Wah, wah, wah. Gotta get the arms in there. Then the other side. Same sort of deal. And the true dog is hiding underneath. I don't know how to draw this actually. I don't know what I did. Okay, yeah, use your imagination. He's sitting down right there. And it's just a it's just a heap of a lab coat. I almost forgot the ear thingy. That's a stethoscope. Um it's feeling pretty cluttered, but you can kind of see it, I guess. So yeah, there's number one. Dog tur. Cool. Next we got Pablo uh, from Eggy. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this from memory. I know it's a big circle. I'll just do the basic. Some big old eyes, just like this. Uh, um, I hope you guys listen to the disclaimer because I really don't know how to draw. He's got like his flippers. I know they're sharper than that. I don't know how to do this. And he's like a little fat or something. Does he have legs? I don't remember if he has legs or not. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think he has like this sort of thing going on. Then he's got his just little feet, guys. There you go, Pablo. <laughs> okay, then another butterfly uh, to match the other one. So let me just cut him out real quick. Now let's draw his buddy. And great. Butterflies, they are friends. 
they can chill up here. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the flying goat. How do goat mouths work? Um, I don't know exactly what kind of goat you want. I'm just gonna kinda send it with whatever my mind's telling me. Draw the wings out here first. Then I always forget which way goat legs go and stuff. I think it's something like this. And his front legs, maybe, oh, how do they go? Maybe we go like this or something. I know this is very not anatomically correct. Oh, that's so wrong. Ugh. Let's just try to do that one, kind of. Yep. And then we got the, the underbelly, do the other back leg, kind of bending a little more, maybe. And last, we got to do the other wing, like so. Add some fur for detail. So yeah, there's a completely accurate goat with wings, so... Yeah, he's flying. Give a little accents around here. There you go. Hopefully that satisfies uh, your passion to baby Yoda. Cool. Now, dino nuggets. That's going to be a pretty easy one, I think. <laughs> I just started drawing without any idea of what dinosaur I was going to draw. So I'm just going to draw a completely unique dinosaur, actually. It looks like this. It has three legs. Help me name this dinosaur, guys. Here's a here's another one. More conventional. Let's just do a Triceratops, you know. And they're not very good at doing the right shape, so you can't blame me for any bad drawing there. Uh, but those are dino nuggets. I'm gonna start a new one. Okay, now we're gonna do the dodo. So in the style of bird from Egypt, Okay, so this sort of vibe, um, it should just be solid line work, not all like wiggly like that. I need a dodo bird reference. I got a expectation to meet. I wanna, I want this to be worthy for you to tattoo. I think that'd be amazing. They got the curved beaks, first of all. I'm so scared to mess up, but you know what? That's, that's what it's all about. It's growth, learning, as I, undo every single thing that's what i'm saying <laughs> that has a good start no okay oh that's whoa it wigged out you gotta like swoop up and then down and then out okay i'm gonna go over here now like so then down out that, that was a good run that was a good run okay then they just got a little thing like that First, let's go to the wing. They, they have kind of dumb wings. So it's like this. What I'm noticing is they have like this beak that goes on their entire face. So I'll just kind of like give it that same sort of eye and then nose. And then maybe just the legs. That whole section is not tall enough. So I'm going to just... I think it was doing fine until the legs. Uh, what if I make it smaller to match the size? Stroke then I redo the face. If you legit want a real tattoo like this, uh, let me know and I can design it a little better. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna settle for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's do Mewtwo going to college. First, let's just draw the college. I don't wanna make this super detailed on this part because of Mewtwo. So Mewtwo looks like this. He's got these weird like prong things, I guess. Um, let's draw some glasses because he's going to college. And yeah, there's his eye. There's his other eye. How do his arms go? I'm not using a reference for this one. I know he's got like the weird connector on his neck or whatever. And he's got like, I think just three like fingers, like a frog kind of tail that comes up to here. Okay, then his legs are like these weird, I don't even know. This goes back for his tail, this, and then his other legs, the same sort of deal. And his other arm will help carry all of his school books, which will be like just very badly placed because I didn't think of it. Yeah, he's, he's on his way to college. This is the pathway. Yeah, Mewtwo going to college. Okay, now we're gonna do the mouse doing a backflip off the diving board. Let's see, I wanna figure out a nice perspective for this one. No, sure. We got a computer mouse doing a backflip, so that means we'd be seeing the underside. And this is the top. Here's the little mouse sensor. And here's the cord, which just goes into the distance. 
Uh, yeah, this one's very detailed, I know. Okay, I think that's it for this page. Cool, now let's do a gibbon and a goose having a kung fu battle. So honestly, I know nothing about kung fu. I might get some of this wrong. Okay, I think this one's gonna be a full page thing. So we're gonna start with the gibbon. Gibbons are my favorite of the simians. Yeah, they really speak to me, you know? Uh, they got really, really long forearms. Like regular biceps, but some really long forearms and I don't want to draw their fingers because I know I'll get it wrong. Uh, he can reach all the way over to the goose. That will soon be drawn. Much shorter legs compared to the arms. That's a gibbon. <laughs> He's got to have a belt, right? He's black belt. The goose will be like honk, you know? We got some 3D wacky wings going on. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Here's the plan. We go like this. Connect it a little better. In this story, the the gibbon is the bad guy. Hate to break it to you. Clearly looks more overpowered and he has the evil eyes. He's also a black belt. And then we got his legs. Then we got his legs. Those are also his weakness. Gibbon got small legs. He got uh, fragile legs. Yeah, uh, there's that. Now we can also draw an oat because people have been wanting that. Here's how you draw an oat. You, you do some sort of weird circle. You do the weird, like, crease in it. If you want to give him a face, then do that. There you go, oat. I think we're on to the last one. So someone asked if I could do a self-portrait. Um, and then someone else asked if I could draw me and my favorite monkey. So we're going to try to do that. I'm going to start with my hair. I value my hair a lot. Even if it doesn't look like it, uh, I try. <laughs> Something like that. You go, Wah. that's where my forehead is. Get my ears. Something like that, maybe. I don't know how other people perceive me, and I don't even know how to perceive myself. That's how I do ears. Um, I got the triangle nose. Got the circle glasses. Like so. And I'll have a big ol' smile. Because I'm gonna be with my monkey friend. Get my eyes. I'm a real skinny guy, so kind of ends right there in terms of body width. Great. Now my monkey friend. My favorite monkey as of right now is the Japanese macaque. Yeah, they're kind of just chill and cool. Like they literally are just snow monkeys. That's their nickname. But yeah, they just like vibe in hot springs and I think it's sick. They got their nose way down here. Then he's gonna be smiling because he's with me. And they got real spiky, uh, furry, uh, yeah. And he would be definitely smaller than me. I know the thickness doesn't really, actually like that a little bit, yeah. And yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I didn't know how this video was gonna go really, but um, if you liked it, let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know as well, because I might do this again if you guys liked it. But yeah, I think that's it. Uh, subscribe.